Hello you boob. Today I'm going to be running you through a review slash tutorial for Net10's LG 900G. Uh, this uh, I very painstakingly went through and watched many reviews on this phone. Uh, numerous, numerous um, of these uh, reviews were one-handed reviews taken with a cell phone camera. Absolutely terrible quality. Um, so there will be no one-handed reviews here. Um, basically, this phone is running on the T-Mobile network in most places. Uh, I believe it's also available for Verizon, so I think it is capable of CDMA as well, depending on uh, what market you're in. Um, and it's also available for straight talk. Um, I chose to get the Net10 one. I've been with Net10 for many years now, about five years I guess. And uh, I know they're the same as straight talk, but uh, since I'm not too fond of the urban sprawl uh, business model of Walmart, I would rather pay you know five extra dollars a month not to get one of their phones. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to be running you through uh, the menus. There are many, many reviews about that. Um, <clears throat> there are also other reviews, uh, more informative reviews for some reason. Uh, in Europe, uh, in the European market, this phone was released uh, under the model of uh, LG uh, GW300. So if you want more informative views uh, you can actually uh, look up the uh, GW300 and it's the same phone. Okay, so basically I'm not going to be doing the standard review, I'm not going to be running you through the menus, I'm not going to show you how to send text messages, I'm not going to show you how to get on the internet or onto Facebook or anything like that because there are plenty of reviews that show you how to do that. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to put videos on the phone. MP3s are easy, you can just, you know, transfer them over. Videos are a little harder. This phone has been out for a little over a year and for some reason nobody has put out a tutorial on this. This phone is actually quite capable of playing back uh, very uh, not high quality but very good quality videos for the screen size. So I'm gonna show you one of these videos. I'm gonna go into the menu and my folder and then down to videos and select and I've got a bunch of videos here but this is one uh, that I created on my computer. Click on play and then I'll put it on full screen for you. So anyway, that's a short sample. Uh, you can put videos of any length on it that you want. Um, basically, this is um, a, quite a capable phone. There's a lot of things that it can do, uh, but one of the more uh, impressive features is that you can load it up with uh, all of the videos that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, right here, you've got a micro SD, no, uh, mi yeah, micro USB. Um, this will take a standard micro USB 
uh, cable you can get them uh, they're the same ones that the Blackberry takes uh, you can get them on Amazon for probably about five dollars five or ten dollars uh, they're pretty cheap I've already got it plugged into my computer so I'm just gonna plug it in here Oops, which way does it go right there okay and normally it will ask you if you want to do uh, mass storage or data service uh, but I've got it so that it will automatically go to mass storage so I'm just going to move over to the computer and I'll show you how to create videos for this okay now I've got the uh, uh, the windows loaded up uh, this has got a uh, 2 gigabyte uh, card in the phone and here is the video that I downloaded uh, this is the original video it's taken from a 1080p uh, QuickTime video file so uh, the better quality of the original file the better output of the resulting file and then up here uh, is my videos folder uh, where I'm gonna take the one that I showed you uh, which was this one here and I'm gonna delete that um, <coughs> so we don't have any problems here. Um, so there's the videos folder, there's the uh, video. So I'm going to be using a program called WinFF. It's available uh, for uh, Windows and it's available for Linux. Uh, Macintosh users, um, I do have a Macintosh and I'll have to find a program that will work with it and I'll uh, post another video if I can um, find a desktop recording software that I don't have to pay for. And so I go into sound and video here and I'm going to load up WinFF. Now this is going to be relatively uh, simple. Uh, you can put in as many videos as you want. Um, I'm going to add the video so I'm going to go into uh, my folder here. Oh, don't, don't, wait, yep, there it goes. So, uh, under videos, we got the trailer 1080p, and I'm going to load that in. Uh, but first, before we do anything, we have to create a preset uh, for the video. It, ba it takes the, basically the same um, format as iPods. Uh, but you can actually play better files. So I'm going to go uh, into Edit and Presets and I created a preset called Phone and so far I've only created one called Widescreen. Now you need to uh, come up with a name for it uh, and a label. I just called it Phone WS and then the label is going to be phone widescreen. Now this, I had to go in and make a few edits uh, to this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to include this entire line in the description, so you can look in the description and copy that out and then paste it into this line. Uh, then change this one to MP4. Uh, then you create a category, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, but you can, cl uh, I called it phone, um, and then click on add an update, and then click on save. Then once you add your uh, files to here, and you can add as many files as you want, uh, then you just go to convert to, and then here's where I get called phone here, and then under preset is phone widescreen. I'll create another one called full screen, but uh, and I'll also um, uh, I'll also put the information in there. And in fact, you know what? I'll what I'll do is I'll create downloadable um, uh, preset uh, file. So like you know, if you go into presets, uh, you can import. Uh, presets from that so I'll just provide a download link uh, for a preset um, to WinFF and then you don't even have to think about it so um, I'll 
cancel that. And oh, I got to change it back to phone, phone widescreen, and it's going to go into my videos folder. All I have to do is click convert. And you can just watch it do its thing. It's using uh, FFmpeg as its encoder. Uh, it's quite capable. Uh, it's a command line uh, utility, um, but basically what uh, WinFF does is um, it does all of the work for you and you can uh, do many files. So instead of trying to write up a script or a batch file or something, uh, to do that you can just click on add and then add all the files that you want. Uh, you'll have to separate out your widescreen and full screen files so that uh, it uh, does it correctly. But uh, this shouldn't take too long. It's already on 32 seconds. So there it is right there. So I click on enter. It's going to close that and I'll look into my folder again. I'm going to minimize that. Go into my folder and there it is. Right there. I click on properties and I look up the information. It's a little bit different in Linux than it is in Windows. Uh, but there it is right there. 320 by 180. That's a um, it's widescreen. Uh, it's a 320 by 240 screen. Uh, 320 uh, divided by 16 times 9 is 180. So that'll give you uh, the correct resolution, the correct aspect ratio for it. Uh, it's MPEG-4 video, 24 frames per second. I think it's actually 23.976, but uh, that's close enough. And then MPEG-4 AAC audio at 44, uh, uh, 44 kilohertz. Uh, I had problems because it, it uh, uh, the converter uh, defaulted to 48 kilohertz, and I think that, that was slowing the video down. But I I bumped it down to 44 kilohertz, and it seems to work just fine. So I'll close that. I'll take my new MP4, just drag it over to the videos file, and I didn't even have a. Uh, there was no um, progress dialog. It took. It didn't take that long at all. So uh, before you. Um, before you unplug it, you got to make sure that you uh, unmount your devices. So it comes with a 16 megabyte uh, internal flash, and then the uh, the card it'll take up to a 16 uh, gigabyte card. Um, I've got a two gigabyte in there, so I'm just going to eject those. Uh, in Windows, you can either go to your uh, USB in the system uh, tray and uh, click safely remove. Or, um, and in Mac you would just uh, drag the uh, drag the uh, the drives to the trash can. Exit, I mean eject. Okay, and there it is. They're successfully unmounted. And then all you have to do uh, is click cancel on the phone, and then those things will disappear. So there they go. And then you just unplug it, go into your videos folder, and play the f resulting file. And what I'll do is I'll zip up the uh, the file itself. If you want to take a look at it, it actually looks pretty good on uh, on a standard definition television. It's it's not as good as DVD, but it's better than VCD. It's actually pretty good quality. Um, I don't know if you can play it in a DivX enabled DVD player or not, but most video devices, including iPods um, and uh, your various PMPs will also play these files. So uh, they're very portable, um, which is really good about this phone. You didn't have to use a special format for it. You used a, a very open format, which is uh, good. So. I'm going to leave you with that and uh